Well, we just had about a third of an inch of rain blow through about an hour ago. Now it's sunny again. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to show what check dams are not good for. Showed uh, what they are good for in a previous video. Here we have a nice blanket and grass lined ditch with seven or eight check dams nicely installed. Uh, water from about an acre of partially grassed area is draining to this ditch. The grass was, in, or the hydro seed was installed a little too late, so we only have about probably 40% grass cover, maybe 50 in some areas. So the water comes off turbid when we get a good rainfall. So a third of an inch in an hour is pretty intense for, for this area. And the turbidity is measured at about 117 to 119 uh, coming down this ditch. And actually, the turbidity down here is a little bit higher. This was 119 down at the last check dam. And up at the top, it was 117. So uh, one, thing's check dam one thing check dams do not do is reduce turbidity because the soil particle that causes the persistent turbidity is very small and requires a very long settling time which isn't available in check dams. So best thing that you're going to get for sediment reduction with check dams is pretty coarse sands. Uh, so if you have a total, you know, total sediment load, you're going to get reduction of the total sediment load, but no reduction in turbidity using check dams or really any conventional sediment control device that doesn't allow a significant amount of settling time, you know, like weeks. So there you go.